Okay, hi folks, it's uh, PIUK Jimmy here. Um, I thought I'd show you something on video today that I've been thinking about trying for the past couple of months. And it's only just now I've had the possibility to try so. But what it is, is it works on the principle of, you've all seen this before, the ghost box. Now, the problem with the ghost box is, what it actually does, like any radio, it will pick up radio signals from a broadcast so although you can scan the channels on the ghost box you're only ever picking up what that radio tower is broadcasting in other words names numbers dates times so on the basis of a device called the Spiricom during the 70s what they tried to do was broadcast a signal from one location to another so if there was any deviation in that signal when it was received it could be some form of communication now the way i'm going to attempt that today is using a two-way radio right, these two things here you can see them what i'm going to do is via my computer i have a white noise generator what i'm going to do is play that white noise into this two-way radio and broadcast it to this one. Whilst doing this I'm going to record onto this digital recorder. So hopefully as the white noise is being broadcast from here to here there may be some way whatever creates these voices can manipulate the signal into a word. The other bonus of this is we won't have any interference from other radio channels such as names, numbers and voices like I mentioned before. So okay if I come over here I've just got it set for basic white noise so if you can hear this okay. also have here pink noise Going through all the colours up to grey noise. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll just go back to standard white noise for now. And bear with me while I plug this all in. So I'm just plugging that, the audio out of my computer into this two way radio here. Which I'll now switch on. switch this one on hopefully there we go now you can hear the normal static of that radio state radio channel but as I hit play on here you will hear the difference of the white noise coming through now as for what I am going to try and communicate I'm still not too sure. I may try to keep it simple and make contact with Constantine Royal Devay like I have done in my prior videos. But who knows, this is a test. It might not work at all, but it has to be worth a try. So if I start the white noise, you should hear a difference on the radios. Can you hear that? Okay, if I hit record here, and start recording and begin the session. Okay, Constantine Raldevay, if you are there, could you please say your name for me? If you were able to say your name, Dr. Raldevay, could you please repeat it? I recently read, Dr. Raldevay, that you had a set of code words that you would use when trying to communicate from the other side. Could you please repeat one of those code words?
Okay, Dr. Radovay, could you tell me what country you were born in, please? Could you tell me of the name of the other doctor you worked with? Could you tell me what country he came from, please? Okay, I'm going to ask you to repeat two words. The first of these words is butterfly. Could you repeat the word butterfly? The second of these words is watermelon. Could you please repeat the word watermelon? Okay, thank you for your time. Like I say, I'm going to keep the session short because this is somewhat of a unknown experiment and I want to have time to go over the recordings because they may themselves not be that clear but there is possibilities, there might be responses. So what I'll do now is um, pause the video, go over the audio and in part two I'll show you what I've found, if i found anything at all. Okay. Okay, hello all and welcome back. Um, I've gone through the recording and uh, there does, strangely enough, seem to be two responses, which I'll play in a second for you, but there's a few things I wanted to mention first um, that I didn't mention in the first part. That this idea is based on a device called the Spiricom. Now, to put this into perspective, if the Spiricom was a fighter jet, what I am doing now is a paper plane, basically. Similar principle, but no way as much of a grand scale. It's purely experimental at the moment, but based on the same principle. Um, if I show you this, this is what the entire idea is based on, a book called Ghost of 29 Megacycles. 29 Megacycles being the frequency they broadcast on. Um, to get these voices, Let's see if I can find you any pictures of the Spiricom. Um, now, what I was broadcasting on then was about 446 kilohertz, so nowhere near as low as they did with this device. But like I say, it's all not guesswork at the moment, but experimental. We don't know what type of results we will get. So I thought I'd just bring that up in case you were wondering, or in case anyone questions it. Okay, so, going to the recordings, they're very faint, but there, there might be something to them. I've yet to have to go over them properly to be conclusive, but I'll pray, play you what I picked up so far. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, I'm going to ask you to repeat, repeat two words. First of these words is butterfly. Could you repeat the word butterfly? Did you hear that? It's just toward, just before it ends, there is a very faint response butterfly. I'll play it again for you. Okay, I'm going to ask you to repeat, repeat two words. The first of these words is butterfly. Could you repeat the word butterfly? Okay, like I say, it's less than conclusive at the moment, but I thought I'd play it back to you. And the second one of these recordings is a little more clear, but not the much second of these words is watermelon. Could you please repeat the word watermelon? hear that? What towards the end sounds like it possibly could be a female voice? Second of these words 
It's watermelon. Could you please repeat the word watermelon? Okay. Okay. Right. What I will do, like I do with most videos, is upload the file and the video to site. Of course, you're watching it there at the moment. So you can download it yourself and have a listen. Hopefully you might hear something that I didn't. But like I say, this is just the beginning of an idea. On those walkie-talkies or two-way radios I used earlier, I only broadcast on one channel of, I think, a possible 600. So there's a lot of experimenting to be done. But I thought I'd just show you the principle of some things you might be trying in the future. And who knows, it might herald some great results. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon.